Hey guys, welcome back to our North Carolina Tar Heels Dynasty in NCAA Football 2004. Look at that, we are on the Sports Illustrated cover. That's right, get hyped folks. A couple huge upsets last night. We beat Florida State, we beat Virginia Tech, and they were both away games. We got a couple home games here tonight against Michigan State. And then our number two game, we will be taking on the BYU Cougars. Should be a couple fun games, I'm looking forward to them. Now let's check out the rest of the nation right, right quick. 20, top 25 polls. North Carolina looks polished in a 38-21 win versus Virginia Tech. Miami, of course, number one. Pittsburgh at number two. Georgia getting one first place vote. <coughs> Excuse me, my goodness. And Maryland just lost to Auburn this week, so they will be... Dropping. I already simulated all the way up to our game, so that's why you're seeing some of these teams lose, and you know they're you know going up in the ranks. Notre Dame. They just lost to UNLV. Unreal. Tyler Rocky in the chat. Jarmel Lewis. The Hurricane Junior Senior. Sean Mayhan in here. What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? And Virginia Tech dropped all the way down to 17th. We are right below them at 18th. So we started the season 53rd in the country. And we moved up a pretty good amount already. I am loving it. And that is the top 25. Heisman watch. I doubt we have anybody in there. Maurice Claret. Wally Lundy, Lante Hobbs, Mike Williams, and David Horn out of Nebraska. Okay, okay then. Notre Dame's 12. Yeah, not for too long though since they just lost to UNLV. <laughs> Check out the campus standings. We are currently sitting at the top. We do face NC State uh, tomorrow night. That's going to be our first game of our doubleheader. But I'm not really going to get into that too much because, I mean, let's face it, we're pretty early in the season. It doesn't really matter too much. But let's get right into this game. We're hosting the Michigan State Spartans. Should be a pretty fun game. They are 2-0 on the season as well. Riding a two-game winning streak dating back to last season. We are riding a four-game winning streak dating back to last season. We have the number one rush defense in the nation right now somehow. I, I don't know how, but we do. 19th best defense, 59th offense in the country. Basically identical to theirs. But alright, let's get it. How are we ranked 18th already? Uh, because we beat the 15th ranked Florida State Seminoles. And then we beat the 7th ranked Virginia Tech Hokies. Both away games. That's why. When does the NCAA 06 season start? First Sunday in April. We'll have two games that night. Have doubleheaders all week that week. I posted the schedule in the Discord. <clears throat> all right. Let's see what these Spartans got. Freshman kicker boots it to the end zone. And it will be returnable. Dorch on for the return. And he is rocked. Do not forget to slap that like button, folks. I appreciate you. All right, defense. Let's see what we got here. Alex Russell, strong safety. Played a couple great games. Two interceptions so far on the season. Yeah, I'm going to have to cover the halfback. I might, might as well blitz. Why not? Let's see what happens. I outran it. <laughs> Let's 
We got John already on the field. First play of the game. Let's go defense. Let's go. Oh, they're going with the option. Okay, then. Let's get him. Oh, Russell misses the tackle. Feels bad. All right. And they're going to go to the ace spread here. I'm going to drop into the nickel. They're going to go option again. Oh, I missed. Good tackle. Okay. Oh, no, we couldn't get it. Feels real bad. Thought we were going to have a nice early takeaway right there. Right, let's go 3 4. Let's go to linebackers. Spartan, sixth in the nation on uh, third down conversion percentage. Very good for them. And they're going to go option again. And Dowdell gets the first down for the Spartans. Nice run by the quarterback. On defense, we're looking a little rough. Yeah, they're just gonna keep running the option. There you go, Russell. Let's go. Even the match teams in this one should be interesting. Absolutely. I'm looking for a pretty hard fought game on both sides. Of course, you know, I want the win streak to continue. It's gotta happen. They're going to keep it on the ground. My goodness. They've done, what, one pass play so far. Pitt barely beats Troy State. DeMarcus Ware tore their quarterback up. Wow. All right, out of the shotgun. All right. Get hyped. And they're going to run it again. And we get the stop. Let's go. Huge stop. That drive was looking pretty good for Michigan State. 31 yards on the drive. Stalled out near midfield. Bass on for the punt. Ivy to return. Muffs it. Ivy, you're really letting us down here, buddy. So we're going to start this drive at the five or six yard line. Ivy had a rough start to the season. Had a game winning touchdown, though. And now he's back to having uh, a rough time. And I accidentally played both of those games last night on the other profile on here for some reason. So, yeah. Good stuff. Okay, Lewis. Nice run. Got an MLB, NASCAR, and Ghost Recon game. Nice. Which Ghost Recon game is it? Oh, boy. Take off, Darian. I could have thrown that to circle, but I didn't want to... <laughs> I didn't want to chance it. See what we can do here. First and ten. Durant is going to take off again. Picks up about eight yards up the middle. All right, brother. Enjoy that dinner. You had Madden 16, so you were playing that today. Feels bad. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Second down and two. Oh, boy. Darian Durant was injured on that last play. And here is Kirby. Nice option. 
And Lewis up to the 46-yard line. Okay, let's go. And Durant was injured uh, last season. Missed several games. So hopefully he's all right and can come back. Doesn't miss any significant time. Uh, we're going to have to see what Kirby can do here in the passing attack. Mitchell wide open. That's a first down for the Tar Heels. Crowd going crazy. And Durant will return. Strained his forearm. Okay, then. Nice. Let's go. Should be close to a first down right there. Insane looking play. Just like a nice little, little shovel pass here. And Lewis just did the rest. Beautiful execution though. On a play that could have been terrible. Alright, second down and one. Less than a minute left here in the first quarter already. And wide open is Ivy for the first down inside the red zone. Three straight completions for Kirby. Doing a nice job filling in. Darian Durant is back in the ball game, though. He will finish out this drive. Throw it up. Bowman first and goal. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Number one in the nation in red zone scoring, 100% on the season. Pollock wide open, and that's a touchdown. Let's go, Tar Heels. Let's go. Let's get it. Crowd going crazy right now. What a drive. 94-yard touchdown drive. Beautiful. And we are up 7 to nothing now. That was fantastic. 10 plays, 94 yards, over two and a half minutes off the clock. First quarter is just about over. After just two drives. Get him. Nice tackle by Gaddy. Maryland got wrecked by UAB. Oh my goodness. Arkansas beats Arkansas State. Am I going to do all the games on Sunday for the EFL? Uh, no. There's not enough time in the day to do 16 games. Wide receiver reverse. And Cummings is dropped for a loss. And just like that, the first quarter is over. Tar Heels on top. 7-0. Trying to remain undefeated on this season against the also undefeated 2-0 Michigan State Spartans. And they're just going to keep it on the ground all game long. Russell with a huge tackle for a loss. It's so refreshing to see some speed in the secondary. Last season we struggled quite a bit in the secondary. Just didn't have enough speed to keep up with some of these top-tier receivers and running backs. And they're going to throw it here. Dowdell, deep shot. That's a blown coverage by me. Terrible. Good throw by Dowdell. 
I backpedaled for just a little bit too long on that play. Russell with another tackle, first down for the Spartans. Yeah, Tyler, I, I can't stream 16 games in one day, bud. It's just literally not possible. <laughs> We're going to alternate weeks, so one week we'll have the FCS, the next week we'll have the EFL. And Russell with another nice tackle in the backfield. Let's go. Four tackles for the freshman strong safety already. All right, they're going to go shotgun here. Second down and 11. Two running backs with Dow Dow in the backfield. Oh, I got destroyed. Get him. Teague. Oh, Teague just plowing through a couple defenders. Picks up about eight or nine yards. Really good run from him. It was actually a 10-yard carry. Third down and one. They're going to come out in the shotgun again here. Quarterback keeper, he is dropped for a loss. Good stop. Yes, Tyler, it's a pattern. Yes, sir. Wow, Boise State's beating Miami currently. That is a big surprise. Field goal is up and good. Spartans are on the scoreboard now, 7-3. to three. Really good drive, 8 plays, 56 yards, 2.5 minutes off the clock. Time for the Tar Heels to respond. Here is Ivy from his own 2-yard line. Ivy getting loose to the left side and dropped at the 25-yard line. Thought for a second he had a chance to break it. Throw it up. Mason, nice catch. Near the sticks, probably eight or nine yards. Second out of one. I want to take a deep shot downfield here. Throw it up. He's got a step. He's got him. And Bowman is gone. Touchdown. Let's go. What a strike from Darian Durant to a Darius Bowman. Let's go. Beautiful throw. And we extend our lead. And it is 14 to 3 now here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. What a throw from Darian Durant and a great route from Bone. My goodness. DB did not stand a chance. Hunt on for the kickoff. Rates the goal line. Come on, Clayton. Come on, Clayton. Nice tackle. Okay. Okay, then. They're going to come out in the goal line set. A little bit weird. And that went absolutely nowhere. 
What in the world was that? Loss of three on the play. Option attack again. Nice play, and Dorch picks up maybe five yards on the run. I'm going to stop him again. Let's go. Galagos at the 31 yard line. I don't think he got it. And fourth and inches. Another good stop by the Tar Heel defense. Oh my goodness. Our defense is just outstanding this season. And not a very good kick. Out of bounds around the 41 yard line. <laughs> Just a three second hang time. Let's keep it on the ground. Oh no! Oh, we turn it right over. Oh my goodness. Darren Ware is injured for the Spartans. Could be a big loss for their defense. Very unfortunate fumble. And this option is going to go nowhere. Or nice cutback by Dorch. Gets eight yards on the carry. Great second effort. As the Spartans look to close the gap. And they're going to come out in the Maryland eye right here. Three running backs behind the quarterback. And they will go play action out of the Maryland eye. And Dowdell pays the price. He is sacked. Blitz the linebackers on the outsides and made them pay. defense let's go get him oh they got the first down with Hayes good run to move the chains Matt liner throws six touchdowns guys got like 18 touchdowns in three games insane one minute left in the half fullback carry and Teague will pick up three more yards And a false start. Okay, then. Crowd is getting to the Spartans just a little bit. You hate the Spartans? <laughs> it's because you're a Michigan fan, huh, Tyler? That's going to be picked off by Longany up past the 30-yard line. What was that throw? He threw it right to him. And it was affected by the hit on the quarterback as well. But still, that was not a good decision or throw by Dowdell. Nice interception for the linebacker. They had a chance to close the gap there. Instead, they turn it over. And then I get sacked. Awesome. Dukes with his first sack on the year. Uh, 
I don't know where to go with it. Here's Mason, he's wide open. Got the first down, too. Let's go. He's open again. And just get him out of bounds. Durant has yet to throw an incomplete pass tonight. Amazing. Still got two timeouts left. Throw it over to Ivy. Oh, look at that. What a play. Let's go. Great run after the catch from Ivy. I like it. Right, we got one timeout left. Six seconds. Oh, no. Okay. Wow. No way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Touchdown. <laughs> wow. Mitchell. What an unreal play, man. John Jensen in the chat. What's going on, John? How you doing, man? Yo, that play was insane. I was just about to settle for a field goal. <laughs> man. Almost 250 yards here in the first half against the Spartans. Our team's looking nasty this season, guys. Zachary Joseph in the chat. What's up, Zach? How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. And in the first half, it's 21-3. Tar Heels on top of the Michigan State Spartans. And we get the ball. Let's go. Michigan State's offense is not built to keep up with the Tar Heels passing attack. Oh, nice tackle. <laughs> You're here to watch his Spartans lose by 35. It's just so much faith in your team. I love it. I think the Tar Heels are going to go 8 and 4. I like it. Oh my goodness. National championship contender? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know if we got the depth for that yet. I was thinking like season four, we might have national championship aspirations. You love watching Michigan State lose? <laughs> No Michigan State fans, I guess, huh? Oh, nice tackle. All right, second down of five. Let's see what we got here. Greer, freshman tight end. Oh, he drops it. No. Is that our first incomplete pass of the ball game? I think it was. It feels bad. Number one third down conversion rate in the nation, 77%. We are just destroying teams on third down. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to run for this one, though. Oh, juked him out a little bit. Did I get enough for the first? I think I did. Yes, I did. 85 yards rushing for Durant in the first several games. You appear to be the only Michigan State fan here. <laughs> Just a little bit. Not too many Michigan State fans in the world. Unfortunately. I used to have a Michigan State uh, beanie, like a winter hat, when I was like nine or 10, I think. I just liked it because the Spartan was really cool looking. There you go, Ivy. Close to the sticks. Spartans do not have a secondary. I think 
We'll make the Cotton Bowl going 9-3. Good prediction. I like it. Throw it up top, and Ivy comes down with it. Oh, my goodness. What was that secondary defender doing? I don't know what he was doing. He looked lost out there. Was it a linebacker? Nope. That was their safety. He had no idea where the ball was. He was just swatting at air. And we are rolling the Spartans here in Chapel Hill, folks. Wow. Daring Durant with four touchdown passes here in the third quarter. Oh, my goodness. When was that? When did I have that beanie? That was probably 19, 20 years ago. It was around 2000. I know that. 28 to 3 here in the third. Oh, nice spin. Oh, my goodness. Secondary looking like the Panthers out here. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, man. <laughs> but yes, I agree 100%. Hurricane is back. What's up, buddy? How you doing? And they're just going to keep on running it, huh? They are stubborn. Because it's not really working for them. I mean, I think they have more rushing yards than Florida State had. I think Florida State had like 40-something. They had a rough time. Deep shot left side. He's open. He's got Brown up to the 40-yard line. Good throw. Look at the comparison. My goodness. I should play Rocket League? Absolutely not. Zero percent chance of that happening. Pass over the middle. Oh, that was dropped and he got destroyed. I think I'm going to keep running the 4-3. It's been working this drive so far. On now, second down and ten. Dow Dell to throw left side, overthrows his target. Should have been picked off, but it was dropped. <laughs> Dow Dell's not doing well. Yeah, he's, he's having a rough go of it so far. He's made a couple nice throws, but that one that he just did, not so much. About 31. Now I am 28, sir. Oh, nice catch by Cummings. Oh, my goodness. I'll be 29 in just a few months, actually. That was an amazing catch right there. Great awareness by the receiver. Again, Michigan State put together a nice little drive. And there's a drop. Oh, my goodness. I feel like Michigan State this season right now against us is how our offense played last season. Just a lot of drops, a lot of stuff just not going our way. Oh, nice catch. Shamaj <laughs> with the catch. And there is UAB beating Maryland. I just, I can't get over it. Roddy White <laughs> just tore him apart. And that's 
first down. Johnny be 61 in July. All right. Uh oh, Hawkins injured on the play. Feels bad. Yeah, we got a couple old guys that stop in the uh, in the streams. We got Bill Stevens. He's uh, 50 something. Oh my goodness, I got just destroyed right there with Russell. Wow. defense step it up oh touchdown Spartans fighting their way back into it that was a really good drive Just had a few things that should have went our way but didn't Extra point is up and good. 10 play, 83 yard drive by the Spartans. That was fantastic. It's going to be 21 of the summer, so it's exciting for you. 21, just another year, buddy. Okay, Pollock. Okay, Pollock. Nice cut. Okay, Pollock. A pass to 40. Let's go. Should not have gotten that far, but I will take it. Let's go with the counter play, see what happens. Oh no, Hawkins is out with an abdominal tear for nine weeks. Oh, that's rough. It's one of our corners. Get that block. Okay, Lewis, just carrying people up to the 50. And now Jason Harmon is injured for the Spartans. One of their cornerbacks. People are just dropping like flies in this ball game. I don't know what has happened. Second down and two. All right. Quick pass, and there is Bowman for the first down. Durant is just balling out right now. Good run. Thank you, John. I assume you were talking about the kickoff return. But there's a slight delay on the stream. And I just can't seem to get rid of it. Throw it up top to Mason. And Mason comes down with his second career touchdown reception. Let's go. Five touchdown passes in this game. For Darian Durant. Wow. Just throw it up to the big fella. See what happens. Over 300 yards passing against Michigan State. Extra point from the freshman kicker is up and it is through. And it is now 35 to 10. <laughs> nice bomb, yes sir. Mason with his second career touchdown reception. I felt bad that he didn't get one last season. Almost a thousand yards receiving, no touchdowns. Felt real bad. All right, defense, let's get it. He's open. And overthrown by Dowdell. Just way off the mark on that one. Nobody can stop us tonight. No, they're having a rough time. Their defense is, they just don't have any answer for the passing attack. Doesn't help that they're. The DBs just keep falling down, getting hurt. Back 
pass over the middle, picked off again, it's Ferguson. Oh my goodness. Wow. Looking on all cylinders. Pretty sure Ferguson is a freshman. Filling in for Hawkins, who went down with an injury earlier. Let's check it out. And he is. So Gerald Ferguson gets his first career interception. Oh my goodness. With his 64 overall. We're definitely not playing like our overalls right now this season. Lewis picks up four up the middle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Eh? Eh? Girlfriend. <laughs> Something wrong with me. Alright, let's see what we got here. See what we got here. And Mason up inside the 30 yard line. Just padding our stats at this point in the game. That's a big dude. I think he's like 6'4, 6'5. Really big receiver. Huge target for Durant to throw it up to. Can I believe this? Absolutely not, John. <laughs> our team is just playing insanely good right now. Who wants it? Nice throw to Bowman. That'll end the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. We're up 35 to 10 against the 2-0 Michigan State Spartans. Thirty-five point loss prediction for MSU isn't looking too outlandish now. <laughs> it's still hurtful though. Seven straight completions for Durant. Wow. Unbelievable. Second down at seven. Mike Mason, wide open. Third touchdown of the season, second tonight. Oh my word. <laughs> wow. Blowing him out of the water. Over 400 yards of offense. We had over 400 against Florida State as well. Obviously, the Seminoles put up a much better performance than the Spartans did. And it is now 42 to 10 here in Chapel Hill. Let's go. Five thirty-one left in the ball game. Just love that sliding touchdown catch. That was awesome. All right, defense. I don't know if we'll get 100 yards rushing in this game. We did the first two games, though. 150 against Virginia Tech. Deep shot left side, and it's caught by Cummings against Ferguson, who just had the pick last drive. Six touchdowns, zero interceptions. Ain't too bad in one game. Not at all, man. Putting up huge numbers against Michigan State. I mean, she's not going to win. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Yo, what up, Doyle? How you doing, buddy? Pass right side, overthrown again. Dowdell. 9 of 16, 168 yards, one touchdown, two picks. Look at the quarterback comparison. And the Durant incompletion was a drop, I believe. That's like Drew Brees' accuracy. That's crazy. When am I going to call the dogs off? Never. Not doing it. 
Listen, we had a losing season in year one. I'm going to pound everybody this year. Let's go. Deep shot, right side. That was blown coverage, and it was dropped anyway. Wow. Unreal. Shabazz with the drop. They're down at 10. Pass right side, caught by Dorch, but he is dropped short of the sticks. Wow, their offense is definitely struggling here tonight. <laughs> Pour it on. <laughs> I'm gonna, it looks like they're going for it here. Gonna run it. Get him. I got him, but he got the first down. Nice run. Just 30 yards for Dorch on 10 carries. Lewis only 54 yards tonight. I hate how they don't have play art for just the guy that you're controlling. Oh, he's open. Nice route by Cummings and a nice catch. Dowdell closing it on 200 yards passing now. Little John going on on the field. Why don't you just look at that scoreboard before you start talking smack, son? Oh, I whiffed on the tackle. That's all right. It's so hard to slow down your momentum in this game when you get going. Yeah, this game reminds me of the Duke game at the end of last season. And that was rough. Oh, I misjudged it. Pittsburgh beats Troy State 28-13. That's crazy. Or 28-23. Very close game. Third down and two for Michigan State. And they're just playing for pride at this point. Wide open, overthrown. Man. They're going to go for it again. Fourth down and two from just outside the 20 yard line. Let's get it. And they go counter, and Hayes does not get the first down. Good stop for the defense. Now we're going to try to run that football just a little bit here. Run that clock out. Four-yard carry. Not bad. Haven't really run the football too much with him tonight. Just eight carries. Haven't really needed to. Durant has just been playing lights out. He's been on fire this game. And I'm lucky I got anything out of that. Bad call. It's so hard to do toss plays unless your running back has really, really good speed. The quarterback is almost as bad as Brian Lewerke. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't go that far, man. All right. Oh, nice tackle by the strong safety. My goodness. Oh, that's Eric Smith. Went on to have a decent NFL career, I guess. Played for the Jets. MSU quarterback compared to Ryan Leaf. Well, Ryan Leaf was good in college. NFL, not so much. That's what happens when you get addicted to painkillers. 
Huber, uh, I think just his second punt of his career. Get a Pollock. Nice tackle by the receiver. Keep playing like this, we can win a bowl game? Absolutely, man. The way our defense has been playing, and if Durant can continue to play like this, we're going to be a dangerous team. We might even contend for the ACC title, which would be amazing. Look at that, 17 of 18, 305 yards, six touchdowns. Michigan State's secondary is just, it's Swiss cheese, okay? It's actual Swiss cheese. Get that pick. Nice deflection. Let's go. What a play. See, Matt Leinert's out there throwing six touchdowns, too. At least Leaf is an analyst nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> His opinion matters just about as much as Booger McFarlane. A sack there for Seagraves, I believe. Oh, I could be completely wrong on that name. I just saw it for a split second. Oh, that was C. Wright. Forgive me. Third down at 16. No, oh, I missed it. Less than a minute remains in the ball game. Get him. Nice tackle. Okay. It's so hard for opposing running backs to get past our front seven. They just haven't been able to do it all season. here nice deflection again by Longani and that'll bring up third down and eight look at Dowdell's season stats not very good <laughs> here we go option yeah pitch it I dare you fourth down and two yet again for Michigan State Obviously, they're going to go for it here. What do they have to lose? The game? That's already been decided. And they're going to run it again. Oh, did he get it? He might have got it. No, he didn't. Oh, my goodness. I thought he reached over the line. Wow. I think that was a bad spot, but nothing I can do about it. One more play should end it, unless they call their timeout. Really? Really? Wow. <laughs> okay, let's end it right there. Stick around for our second game. We'll be taking on the BYU Cougars. Another game in Chapel Hill. Get this raucous crowd thumping this stadium. But a nice win here against Michigan State. Their secondary could not stop our receiving core. They couldn't really do a whole lot on offense. Dowdell was off the mark quite a bit. And the receivers, when they were wide open, were just dropping every pass. They were just looking a little bit rough, a little undisciplined here tonight. But we are now 3-0 on the season. We beat the 2-0, now 2-1 Michigan State Spartans. Fantastic game. And we almost won by Owen's 35-point prediction. But just unreal stats here. Look at this. I mean, 419 yards and 289. Both teams struggled to run the football just a little bit. But passing 20 of 21 total. Over 300 yards. Six touchdowns, no picks. Bro. Couple fumbles tonight, though. And just one punch for our squad. Guess ready to randomly lose to BYU or what? Absolutely. So stoked. Can't wait for it. That's what I live for. 
Nate Kirby, freshman quarterback, came in, filled in for a few pass plays, did really well, 3 of 3, 32 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Sacked one time, Durant was, long of 66. And Darius Bowman. I mean, look how many receivers had touchdown catches. Five different receivers had a touchdown tonight. That is insane. Actually insane. And just, what, one drop? One drop tonight. Russell led the team in tackles again. Six tonight. Two tackles for a loss, as well as Malik Brown. A couple sacks, Seawright and Brown. Two picks, Gerald Ferguson, Jeff Longani. A few pass deflections. Holt with a forced fumble. Hunt, no field goals. Six of six extra points. And that is it. Let's go stop BYU. Or lose to them for absolutely no reason. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and save it real quick. And then get right into the game. Was that receiver 5'8 on my team? It was either Pollock or Bowman. Both of them are pretty short receivers. But you know what? They get the job done, man. Obviously. We be balling, man. Y'all thought the game froze, didn't you? All right. Let's see if BYU even has a win on the season. I believe they were 0 2 last time I looked. We jumped up to 13th, or 15th in the nation, rather. Pretty happy with that ranking. And we've beat some solid teams. I mean, Florida State, they were 0-2. After we beat them, we lost again. Colorado State at 13. I don't know why, but they're, like, always ranked in this game. <laughs> it blows my mind. And they're always better than Colorado. Always. It's like, why not just give them their spot? In, what is it, the, the Big 12 there in, in this game. Okay, BYU 0-3 on the season. I mean, they're just, they're struggling, guys. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. They are allowing over 500 yards per game. And that's not dead last? My guy. What? Oh, my goodness. When you play NCAA 14 frequently, every stutter in the game is a chance for the game to freeze. That's why I don't play it, man. Let's check out the Sports Illustrated quick, see if we're on it. Nope. Let me see which receiver is 5'8 that you were talking about. Yep, Jaworski Pollock. 5'8, baby, let's go! 166 is a beast. Bowman's six foot. Everybody else is pretty tall. All right, let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm a effing problem. What's going on, bro? Appreciate you stopping by the stream. Let's go with our all blues for this game. Let's do it. Brock Lock 09. NBA season suspended indefinitely. Why? Because of the coronavirus outrage? Everybody's just freaking out for nothing. More people die from the common cold. Come on now. Y'all letting the media gas you up. Alright, let's get this dub.
Kukahiko set to return the kickoff for the Coons. Get him. Christensen on the return, and he is dropped around the 19-yard line. And BYU likes to throw it quite a bit. So we're going to be in the nickel for the majority of the game probably. A lot of gaming tourneys are canceled as well. Yeah. Just wash your hands. I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple. Wow, that was a big overthrow to start. Crowd going crazy. Let's go. Keep pumping them up. They can't hear a thing. Oh, nice cutback. Oh, Russell with a forced fumble. Oh, we should have had that. Come on. Wow. How do you not fall on that, Cam Newton? Third down and 11. 112th ranked. Third down conversion percentage at 28%. Wow. Feels bad. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Where are you going, corner? No, Moss, what are you doing, my guy? You had the deep quarter. Or the deep third, rather. Oh, my goodness. E3 was canceled, too? That's crazy. You got like actual doctors and stuff saying to like stop freaking out about this thing. And the media is just like, nah, we're all gonna die, it's the plague. Like, no, <laughs> no it's not, we're Gucci. Like, literally more people are dying from the flu and the common cold than this virus. That's why I don't watch news. Because it's just a bunch of garbage. But I digress. So we're going to lose to BYU. It's been decided. And it's all Owen's fault in the chat. So everybody blame Owen. Get a blame Owen hashtag going. Let's go, Ivy. Take that return. Nice catch by Ivy. I like it. And now a false start by the right tackle. Owen, you're fired. You're fired from life, man. If this is the worst epidemic they've ever seen, then they've never actually opened their eyes. Rear wide open. That's the freshman tight end. And a nice stiff arm. Let's go. Pollock up inside the 45 yard line of BYU. I hit Mason on this corner route on the left. 
He's got him beat. There's Mason inside the 20 yard line. Let's go. My chair is going to break. I'm just so fat. That's the problem. It just keeps cracking. Durant just won in completion in the past two games. I don't know what's going on with him right now. But I like it. Yeah, he can run. What's up? He can run. Get out of my way, son. First to go. Don't be nice to him. He's a hater. <laughs> He's just mad because we beat Michigan State. That's all. Number one red zone scoring offense in the country, 100%. Wow. <laughs> that was some solid defense, BYU. What are you doing? Bernie Spears 07 freak out is the worst epidemic than the coronavirus. Agreed. <laughs> Like, there's more important things to worry about than some little virus. Like, let's talk about, you know, the crack epi epidemic. Let's talk about all the overdoses from every single drug known to man. Alcoholism. Let's talk about that. There's just so many more things that are more important. That are actually killing a lot of people. A lot. Oh, what a hit on Kukihiko. Machine State is trash. <laughs> I mean, in that game, they definitely were, 100%. They had a rough go of it. All right, defense. Let's not uh, have a blown coverage again, shall we? Nice tackle. Oh, my goodness. Brathwaite. No gain on the run. Talk about the cult mom, too. I don't know what that means, man. <laughs> yeah, where are you going with that run? What, what are you doing, my guy? Just blitzed like eight people and you're trying to do a draw? Get out my face. All right, third down and 12. We're not blowing this coverage. I didn't mean to switch. Oops. Oh well. Nice stop again. I mean, for the first time in this game. <laughs> Yo, what up? What up, Jay Bomber? What's going on, brother? All right, let's go, Ivy, from the 34-yard line. Okay, Ivy. Okay, Ivy. Huge return up past the 40-yard line. Let's throw it up. Let's go, Mason. What you got, brother? Touchdown. Oh, my goodness. It's fourth of the season. They can't guard him. Let's go. And we got that big, fat lead. Let's get it. That was a beautiful throw from Darian Durant. Perfect spiral. Threw it up where only his guy could get it. That's an NFL touchdown right there, if I ever did see one. MSU about to get hit with some uh, sanctions in real life. All sorts of corruption. Mason going ham. Yeah, he's a little mad that he didn't get any touchdowns this freshman year. He is a little upset about it. And he's making teams bet. 
Fukuhiko. Fukuhiko on the return. And up to the 21 yard line. Nice return. I like it. Got him. Let's go. Russell with his first career sack. This freshman strong safety is legit. Too legit to quit, in fact. Yo, what up, Judea? What's going on, girl? How you doing? Oh, they going option, huh? Okay. Where are you going? Nowhere. Oh! How did I not scoop that up with Davis? What are you doing, my guy? All right, third down and 19 now. They're going to go with a screenplay. What was what was that? You just set Kukihiko up to fail right there. My guy just lost five yards on a pass play. Let's get a block punt right here. Nope, not that time. Let's go, Ivy. From the 45-yard line. Okay, Ivy. Okay, Ivy. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Ivy's exhausted. Get him off the field. Oh, boy. Mason, what, you <laughs> what was that, buddy? Two incompletions the past two games, and they were both drops. Feels bad. And they're going to go with man coverage here. This might be a good run. Let's go, Lewis, to the outside. He might be gone. Jack Lewis. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Let's go. <laughs> Have you fit in the break one? He's trying, man. He's getting closer and closer each time. My goodness. UIU's team is just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's playing a lot better than yesterday. Yeah. They allowed some pretty, uh, pretty good drives in the stream last night for sure. Especially against Florida State. And it's 21 to 7. Let's go. Still in the first quarter. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize. Oh, wow, what a hit. All right, defense, let's do it again. They've had one play, and that's it. <laughs> Their offense has been terrible every other play of the game. Go with the option, quarterback keeps it, he fumbles it, and we still don't recover one. What is going on? What do you mean? Feels bad. And they're going to go 
the quarterback draw. And very close to the sticks. Does he get it? We'll know in a second. 21-7 at the end of the first quarter. Tar Heels on top. And they did give Barry the first down right there. I'm looking forward to our games tomorrow night. I know we're going to face NC State in our first game. I'm not sure who we get in the second game yet, though. I don't remember. But stick around at the end of the stream to find out. Uh, I just got clipped, but okay. Wow. Get him, Russell. I love the uh, no clipping call right there. Hurricane, I will never forgive you for it. I can't do it. Sorry. Come on, defense. What you doing? Vakapuna. Nice little carry. Picked up a couple yards up that gut. Up that gut. I don't know what to do here. How? How? What just happened right there? That was a nice drive. I'll give him that. Should have been a couple penalties there, but that's all good. Can't complain. We're still winning. But crazy drive. It was like all rushing yards. Oh my goodness. why you ain't messing around tonight. Five plays, 77 yards. My goodness. What was that? I don't know, man. I, I don't have the answers. If you ever figure it out, you let me know. Okay? Let's go, Ivy. You're going to break one of these tonight. Let's go. They can't tackle you, man. Man, so close. Oh, man. What do we got here? All right. Okay. Where, where's the blocking, guys? I don't know what just happened right there. What is going on in this game? Feels real bad. Nice. Throw it up. Bowman. Get there. Got it. Oh, breaks the tackle. He's gone. Goodbye. House call, baby. Let's go. Let's do this. Receivers balling out tonight. Look at that perfect spiral rolling out to his left. And that's safety. <laughs> that poor safety. I think this is the best uh, NCAA game when it comes to the crowd sound. It just gets so extremely loud when your player is about to score a long touchdown run. I love it. That truck, though. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. Quick answer from the Tar Heels. Two plays, 74 yards. Kukahiko on the return. Kick it right to him. Kukahiko from his four-yard line. And gets it up to the 23. All right, let's try to play some defense this time, shall we? Poor safety. <laughs> he shouldn't have been there. 
BYU has put up more points than Michigan State did. Got him. Let's go get it. No! Why can we not recover a fumble? Ugh! It's so irritating. How many forced fumbles have we had in this game? Goodness gracious. Feels extremely bad. Yeah, I don't know where that pass was going. So what you're saying is, Kukihiko is like Razor Ramon. Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's go. That's mine. Threw it right to me. Get out of my face. Russell with his third interception on the season. We're going to get this man freshman All-American. Let's go. That was a terrible throw. Here, I'll, I will show you how to throw it, sir. Right here. Maybe. Nice block. Ivy wide open inside the 10 yard line. That's right, user interception, buddy. Let's go. I got them stick skills. Still a hundo percent in the red zone on the season. Wide open. Where, where's your secondary, my guy? Durant is just on fire. Or are their secondaries just that bad? <laughs> I want to know. As he might go for 500 yards in this game. Russell getting the Thorpe. I don't know, man. He's a freshman. I'm going to have to get, like, eight interceptions with him or something. Something crazy. Ivy's good. Ace, he's definitely had his ups and downs this season. But this game is doing really well. 35-14 here in the second. Get him. Kukahiko to the 22-yard line. You guys think it's both? <laughs> yeah, Michigan State's secondary. Uh, they were just Swiss cheese. There were so many holes. It's crazy. BYU is not much better. In fact, they may be worse. We'll find out here soon enough. Get them! I think our best test of the season to see how well our defense is going to play is next uh, tomorrow night against North Carolina State in our rivalry game. That's going to be a huge test for us. I think if we are able to hold on to the football in that game, no turnovers, I think we'll win it in a close one. Kind of like the Florida State game. Pass picked off by Ferguson. And the young freshman has the touchdown. Let's go. Pick six, baby. This game has just been blown wide open. His second pick in the past two games. And he is filling in for the injured Hawkins. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely bonkers right now. 
We might get a young 50 burger up in here. What's up? Might be in the first half, too. More holes than a New York City. You know, <laughs> what's the matter with you? <laughs> oh, my goodness. 42-14 here in the second. How about Maryland? Do we face Maryland after NC State? I can't remember. Oh, nice return right there. Ran me right over. Wide open on the right is Christensen. And he'll get it up to the 28-yard line. I gotta call a timeout. My front seven is exhausted. Okay then. Terrible play call. You do not have a running quarterback. Two minutes left in the half. Let's see if we can get another stop here. Get the ball back. And they're going to go with the toss play. And he does not get it. Fourth down and one. We're going to get the ball back here with uh, about 140 seconds on the clock. One minute 40 seconds on the clock, rather. <laughs> I just can't talk anymore. All right. Let's go, Ivy. You know you want to break one. That was a great kick. Oh, my goodness. Really? I needed that one block right there. All right. Got to go 69 yards in a minute and a half. Possible. I didn't mean to do that. I, I I meant to hit L2 and then L1 to throw it. Feels bad. Wide open. Bowman near the sticks. He's up to 100 yards receiving. We saw that a lot last season. Nobody's going to beat us in the regular season? I don't know, man. I didn't really think we got that much, you know, better recruits in the offseason. I don't know what's going on. I do know that I'm enjoying it. <laughs> We got 40 seconds left. One timeout left, I believe. All right, let's go no huddle now. Thought I knew the buttons by now. I, <laughs> I do. I just hit the wrong one on accident. Let's go, Bowman. Get out of bounds, buddy. All right, we got one timeout left. This dink and dunk offense is just shredding the secondary. But of course, we can bomb it too. Mitchell, nice catch inside the 15 yard line. No huddle again, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, get set. Wide open, Mitchell for the touchdown. Oh my goodness. 10 touchdown passes for Durant in the past couple games. What 
a drive. Almost 300 passing yards in the first half. Might see some backups here in probably the fourth quarter. Forty nine fourteen. Go for two. What's the matter with you? We'll get the fifty burger, don't worry. <laughs> don't you worry. Kukaiko. Nice little squib kick. Nice spin. Okay, then. All right, 49-14 at the half. And I'm actually going to put Kirby in there. And put Carey in at half back. I know we have another half back in here. There he is. Antoine Barr. I just don't want our guys to get injured. Because I'd be sad. Basically just the quarterback and running back. I don't care about the rest. <laughs> Pollock on for the return. About seven yards deep in his own end zone. Nice kick. All right, let's see what the backups have in our Kirby will be our starting quarterback next season, so it'll be nice to see what he can do. And Carey will be our starting halfback, unless we get a five-star halfback somehow. I don't really see that happening. Unless we go on and win, like, the Orange Bowl or something. That would definitely help us out in recruiting. Quick pass and drops. Feels bad. Third down and eight now. Still number one for a third down percentage. That's insane. 75%. Goodness gracious. Ivy's wide open near the stakes. I think he got the first down. Let's go. Oh no, Mo Ivy injured his shoulder on the play. No. He's been so good for us this stream. Oh my goodness. So hurtful. Next man up. Mitchell in there now as the number four receiver. Nice deflection. Kirby gets smacked. Second down and 10. Should have taken him out. <laughs> we don't have so many receivers, though. We only have like five or six. What a throw by, oh my goodness. All the way to the 40 yard line. Let's go, Kirby. You'd love to see it. That was phenomenal. <laughs> oh my goodness. The precision on that pass. It's Carey's time to shine. He is so slow. My goodness. Tried to cut it out to the left side. Yeah, get pumped. Get pumped, buddy. Yeah, you're down by five touchdowns. Malavi out for three weeks. Feels extremely bad. Look at this quarterback. Oh my goodness. Michael Gregory in the chat. What's going on, man? He's playing a little foosball, you know. This 
quarterback is bonkers. <laughs> Anyone else over tired of the overreacting? Yeah, we already discussed that a little bit. It's a little bit crazy. Run, Kirby! I think he got back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, yeah, he got two yards. I'll take that. Let's go, Carey. Nice blocking. Francisco on the tackle. Wow, wide open is Mike Mason. He's got five touchdowns this season. And Kirby gets his first of his career. I really like the arm on this quarterback. He just fired that in there. And we got the 50 burger, folks. I almost feel bad for BYU, but I don't. Plays 81 yard drive, 252 off the clock. We are spanking the Cougars right now. And I literally just keep kicking it to Kukaiko just so I can say his name. Kukaiko! Just such a great name. It's almost as good as Slovak Slovakia Griffith. Oh no, Kukihiko is injured on the play. Big loss for the Cougs. Again, we don't have a whole lot of rushing yards in this game yet. But the passing attack, my goodness. Yo, what up Marvin? How you doing, buddy? Got 56 on BYU already. Yeah, their defense is uh, uh, terrible. Yep. That's really as nice as I can put it. <laughs> and our defense has been so good this season. So good. Good pass left side. Hale with the catch on the sideline. I'm gonna slap that like <laughs> like Rick James slapped Charlie Murphy. You gotta love it. Yeah, the BYU helmets are nice in this game. I'm blitzing. Let's go, Russell. We got one sack in the stream so far. Oh, I outran it. Oh, we should have had that pick. Good stop, though. Look at that comparison. Wow. Durant. In the past two games, has had two incomplete passes and ten touchdowns. Outrageous. Oh, I wanted to return that. It deserved it for those dark, those terrible dark blue and tan uniforms. <laughs> so hurtful. But I can't disagree with you. Sorry. Can't do it. Let's go, Carrie. Barry is terrible. <laughs> Kukahiko broke his ribs. He's out for two weeks for the Cougs. Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> All the way to the 47. Okay. 
Let's go. Wide open is Mason, who breaks a tackle and gets dragged down at the 12-yard line. This guy is a monster. I know we're up by a million, but we got to see what the freshman quarterback can do. He is the quarterback in waiting. And he is exhausted. Hedgecock, the fullback with a carry, picks up a few yards, maybe four. Wisconsin beating Wake Forest 10-0 at the half. Come on, Heisman. Yes, sir. Throw it up. Hedgecock. Inside the five-yard line. Let's go. Yeah, if you watched our game against Florida State, that's how I expected, like, all of these games to be. But our defense, oh, my goodness. They have just been outstanding. Our passing attack is unmatched. Run, Kirby. Touchdown. Oh, my goodness. BYU has no speed on this defense. And we just put up a big fat 60 burger on him. Sixty-three to fourteen. What? I just got a feeling that we're going to get smacked by NC State. I just, I feel it. First game tomorrow night, we're going to get wrecked. I think their running back ran for over 200 yards on us last season. It wasn't pretty. It was not pretty. Sit down. Oh, I just got clipped. Not that it matters. Good tackle. I know these running backs got to be upset. This is the most rushing yards we've allowed this season so far, I believe, with 70. Oh, I got wrecked. Oh, my goodness. And then I fell over again. <laughs> Jeez. Rathwaite has 74 yards on 10 carries, one touchdown. That is the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. It's 63-14. And we got this dub. What's up? Losing Denzel State is the worst thing a UNC team can do. Yeah, I know it. There's not much we could do. They had Phillip Rivers and a great running attack last season. UCF is wrecking number 13 Colorado State, and I am loving that score. Oh, it was third down. I didn't even realize. Nice stop by the defense. Not even paying attention. <laughs> Do not forget to slap that like button, folks. Subscribe if you are new. Going to be doing five seasons of this in total, and we had our momentum carry us out of bounds. Fantastic. All right, we've got the ball for 10 minutes. Oh, 
Oh, man, nice hit. Papinga with the tackle. One of my favorite last names of all time. Let's go, Kirby. What you got, brother? Mitchell's wide open. All the way to the 40-yard line. Kirby, six straight completions. Not that it matters, but 10th like. The likes do matter, Michael. They sure do. The more likes a video gets, the higher percentage chance it has of being put into recommended for people that are not subscribed to the channel. That's how channels grow, buddy. So I do appreciate every single like that you guys slap on the videos. I didn't mean to throw it. Oof. Been grinding for a thousand subscribers for over three years now. All right, brother. Take it easy. All right, third down and eight. Let's get it. Let's get it. Who wants it? Who wants it? Mason is wide open. Oh, my goodness. Mason again. Wow. What a throw. Mason with six touchdown receptions on the season now. My goodness. Look at the passing yards. 457 for the Tar Heels in this game. Kirby is definitely going to be great for us next season. Got that 70 burger. I think that's the first time we've ever got the 70 burger miss. I don't know if we put up 70 on Duke last season. I can't remember the exact score of that game. Seventy to fourteen. Wow. This is a total beatdown? Yes, sir. I don't know what BYU is trying to do, but it ain't working. Get him! Nice tackle on Christensen. It feels good to beat people down, though. So we struggled a lot in season number one. It was really bad. I mean, BYU is not really a good football team either, so. <laughs> not in this game, at least. Should shoot for an 80 burger? <laughs> I'm just going to keep trying to run the football now after that last touchdown. I think Kirby showed what he could do. I think I think we're pretty set on passing it, unless it's like third and long. Get him, Russell. 70 burger with fries and some ice cream. <laughs> I like it. We are 100% on third downs in this game. That's crazy. And Christensen drops it. Clemson did a beat down on us last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We had a few rough games, man, where we just could not stop anybody. We couldn't get anything going on offense. Too many turnovers. We got wrecked quite a few times. So that's what I'm saying. It, it just feels really good to be able to 
come out here and put up some points, get some nice highlights for the team. All right, Lewis, what you got, brother? That was a clipping. If I ever did see one. They just walk through a table and a Gatorade cooler. Oh, Carrie. Okay. Okay, Carrie. Oh, my goodness. Two broken tackles on one play. Let's do it. Over 100 yards rushing now for the ball game. 101, and Carey after one run is exhausted. Wow, what is his stamina, 10? Let's go, Carey. Oh man, if he wasn't exhausted, he might have been gone on that run. Why could Willie Parker not do this for us last season, other than the last, like, two games of the year? And this is the young freshman with the carry. That's Barr, his first career carry. Nice little dark visor right there. I like it. Pick up a five. See what this young fella could do. Less than two minutes left in the game now. Am I going to play two games tomorrow? Yes, sir. And Barr dropped a yard shy of the marker, and Antoine Barr injured his foot on the play. Third down and one. Yeah, stick around after the stream, or after this game, rather, to find out who our next two opponents are. I believe the first one is NC State. I do not know the second one. Carey, or Lewis, rather, gets the first down. Starting running back, getting in there, fill in for the injured bar. Hey, we got the backups in. Only ones that really matter, quarterback and running back. Bar dropped again. Loss of one on the run. And we'll do one more run here with the young freshman just to get him some more playing time. And then we'll get out of here with the dub. I don't want to go in the red zone and mess up our uh, red zone percentage. <laughs> you got it, John. Appreciate you stopping by, buddy. All right, we are now 4-0 and on this season. Just one more win will tie our win total from last year. That is insane. We're 15th in the nation. Obviously, we're probably going to move up again after hanging 70 points on BYU. My goodness. This team, man, I don't know. There's just something different about them. Everything is just clicking for us this year. I'm not saying we're going to, you know, go undefeated or anything. We might win probably 8 to 10 games at least. But everything that went wrong for us last season is going right for us in this season. And I am really enjoying it. 
592 yards of offense against BYU. Oh, my goodness. 457 through the air, 135 on the ground. No turnovers. That'll definitely help as well. We forced four fumbles, didn't recover a single darn one. Terrible. And we did not punt again. This game was over in the first quarter. Kirby, 8 of 11, 177 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Six total touchdown passes for the quarterbacks. Wow. Running back by committee tonight did pretty well for themselves. Lewis, Kirby had a touchdown. Darian Durant had a touchdown on the ground. Bowman, two touchdown catches. Mason with three tonight. And Darrell Mitchell had the other one. Marquise Clayton led the team in tackles with seven. True freshman middle linebacker. Russell had four. Two for a loss for Kirk and Russell. One sack for Russell. A pick for Russell. One for Ferguson. Returned 53 yards for the touchdown. And we actually got credit for three forced fumbles. And no recoveries. Josh Hunt, 10 of 10 on extra points. No field goals, no punts. Mo Ivy did really well on returns tonight and got injured. But it says he's injured for three weeks, but it's gonna only it's gonna count this week, so he's really only injured for two more weeks. I'm not sure if we have a bye week in between that and our next game. Let's go ahead and simulate the rest of week five. And then see who we get to face in our next two matchups. Wow, Pittsburgh won again. They are still number two and undefeated. Miami beats Boston College by a boatload. And we are taking on number nine, NC State. They are 4-0. We are 4-0. And we are now ranked 14th in the country. And then our next game, another huge matchup against the 3-0 Virginia Cavaliers. So get your popcorn ready tomorrow night around 8.30, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be doing a doubleheader against a couple of really great ACC schools, including a rivalry matchup. I, I can't wait for this game, guys. Both of them. They're going to be really good. And, uh, yeah. Maurice Claret <laughs> might be injured for the rest of the season. That is unfortunate for Ohio State. They do have a loss on the season as well. Let's check it out. See how long he's injured for while we're here. What does it say? He is out for the season. That is really unfortunate. I'm not an Ohio State fan, but I always like watching Maurice Claret play. And that just, that is heartbreaking for any Buckeye fan out there to see one of their best running backs of all time just go down with injury that early in the season. They've only played four games so far, and they already lost their Heisman hopeful. That is just extremely unfortunate for them. And we don't have anybody on there, do we? No, we don't. But T.A. McClendon is on there. He was really good last season. He's really good this year as well. Let's take a look at his stats. He had 1,651 yards rushing last season. About 200-something of that was against us. And a few touchdowns as well. And he's got a couple touchdown receptions this year too. But he's a really good halfback. And I am not looking forward to facing him again. Look at this. Roddy White is on the Heisman watch list. What an animal. This dude's got eight touchdown receptions. And a kick return for a touchdown this season. <laughs> oh my goodness. Roddy White balling out for the Blazers. And David Horn, halfback for Nebraska, is currently number one with 886 yards rushing, 12 total touchdowns. Wow. All right, Players of the Week. Darren Durant collects Player of the Week honors following a Laffer versus BYU. Let's go. 
And Tennessee lost to Florida. No surprise there. But that is it for this stream, folks. Again, I appreciate everybody stopping by tonight. Stay tuned tomorrow night for that doubleheader against a couple of ranked opponents, ranked conference opponents as well. And it's going to be really fun. That's it for me tonight, guys. Until tomorrow night, take it easy.